Hi, this is Andy Sacadato with The Water Thieves, and today on Ask TFT, our question is, what does it really mean to have a 1,500 gallon per minute pump? And it's important to understand that when we're talking about pump ratings, that's under very specific conditions. The first condition is that the pump is operating from a draft. So when I say that I have a 1,500 gallon per minute pump, that means that that pump is able to flow 1,500 GPM from a draft at a pump discharge pressure of 150 PSI. Now, there are some other uh, stipulations that have to be present in order for it to pass its pump capacity test. Operators need to understand that according to the NFPA 1901 standard, uh, pumpers have to be able to achieve their rating with no more than 20 feet of hard sleeve connected to an intake. Depending on the pump size, they may be able to use multiple intakes depending on whether or not six inch hard sleeve is being utilized. And for our purposes, we're gonna focus on pumpers that are between 1,000 GPM and 2,000 GPM, because that's what most fire departments are using in the municipal fire service. So for a 1,500 GPM pump, it can only use a maximum of two intakes in order to achieve that rated capacity. The other stipulation that has to be met during a pump capacity test is that there is a maximum amount of lift that may be present. And for pumps up to 1500 GPM, the maximum lift is 10 feet. 1750 GPM pumps are eight feet and 2000 gallon per minute pumpers are six foot maximum lift. So with all that taking into account, what the operator needs to understand is that that is a very close scientific view or, or uh, standpoint that we are gauging these pumpers' capacities at. In the real world, we may never be able to fit that laboratory setting. In a lot of instances, I may have 30 or 40 foot of hard sleeve connected to a single intake to achieve the flow rate that I am trying to get. And a lot of times I may be able to, uh, or I may only be able to get less than the pump's rated capacity. Our goal in the rural environment is to shoot for a thousand gallons per minute anytime I'm operating from a static source. This is primarily because in the rural environment, when I'm operating from a static source, I am using that typically to fill mobile water supply apparatus, tankers, tenders, whatever you call them, depending on where you're from. And we want to be filling those at a thousand gallon per minute flow rate because that's what most, uh, that, that is the most efficient way to fill our mobile water supply apparatus. Now, it's very important to understand that when I'm dealing with a pump's rated capacity, whether it be 1500 GPM or 2000 GPM, that is at a draft. When I hook to a fire hydrant, that is completely different meaning that the limiting factor with regards to how much water I can get out of a pumper from a hydrant is going to be the hydrant itself, not the pump's rated capacity. Therefore, if I take a 1500 GPM pumper and hook it to a 2000 gallon per minute hydrant, I can expect to flow 2000 GPM out of that pumper. That is because the hydrant is giving me 2000 gallons a minute to work with. On the flip side, if I take a 1500 GPM pumper and hook it to a 500 gallon per minute hydrant, I'm only going to be able to flow 500 gallons a minute from that hydrant. If you have any more questions that you would like to ask, log on to tft.com contact.